What is going on YouTube? Welcome back for another installment of Python Tutorials. This is our beginning tutorials. As you can see on the screen, we have yesterday's work. Now I'm lying. I mean, now I'm telling the truth. I was lying. That was today's work. Now we're on yesterday's work. I'm just going to get rid of the debugger. We're going to close number six. I already brought number seven. We're going to right click and run it. And I'm going to right click and whoop, put my breaker, right click and debug it. And I'm going to clear all. And we'll go to the console function here. Sweet. And let's get some more space. Bam. All right. Rock and roll. Uh, yeah, today's less, which is good. Less is more sometimes. Sometimes. So F8, we're going to get right to it. Print. I would never ask a woman her age, dot, dot, dot. But so, of course, we get the print function coming out there on the right-hand side. Blam, blam, blam. Age equals input. How young are you? So I just F8ed through this. And I'm also going to, we'll get in trouble with the law if I put that. Let's put, make it 21. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, even I could have done this in the console here, or I could have done it if I ran it below. I'll even show you if, I, if we run it below. I would never ask a woman her age, but how old are you? And let's say they say 21, enter. And then it went to the next line already. I didn't even debug yet. So up here in the debugger, we didn't go to the next line. I put in 21. Once I put in 21, that was the input it created the variable. So you'll notice, I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to even do this. Do, do, do. Let's go to my run. Let's start the debugger over. Cause I want you to notice that it's very subtle, but it's important. So F8 through, we got the first line F8 through line two. Now I F8, it says, how young are you? Now I can F8 all I want. It's not going to move right now. We're still stuck on line two because the variable age is, has a function input. That's what that is, that, that the blue word, the blue letter is there for input. And it's asking the user to input data. So Python is waiting for the input. How young are you? So again, 21, enter. Now it will run to line number three. And then the variable is created because obviously you can't create the variable age with an input until the user puts the input in. So print, what is your favorite number? And I'm going to F8 through this favorite number. It's waiting now. It's waiting. It's waiting. I'm going to say seven. Maybe it is. And you will also notice that this time the input's on a new line because fave number equals input is on a new line. And then I'm hitting enter and then I'm going to F8 through that. And again, it creates fave number seven because that's what I put in. Print tonight for dinner. I would love some tonight for dinner. I would love some dinner equals input. It wants us to put in what it wants. I'm going to say tacos. And then I'm going to F8 when I go through this. Now, what do you think is going to happen on the left-hand side of the screen? Dinner equals now tacos. That's now the variable. Print. So this, now you can see curly brackets, empty curly brackets here. Even if it was numerical, you'd know that now we're formatting something. So if we look at formatting, we go up. Let me look at the end of the, of the print function here, and I'll see what the heck I'm formatting. So I'm going to have dot format age, favorite number, dinner. So when I look, I have one, two, three curly brackets. Now it's going to go in that order because I'm not indexing anything. So it's going to go whatever was first, whatever is second, whatever is third, or if you're going to think of it indexing zero, one, and two. So it's actually going to be in that order. So we're going to run through this. Bam, bam, bam. So this 21 year young person has a favorite number of seven and tonight for dinner, they want tacos. And I should put a period there because my mom will get like really pissed my grammar's off. So that's what you got for today. Using user inputs. We're about to use this big time. We're going to create, um, I believe on Thursday, Thursday or Friday, uh, you're going to be rolling out with another playlist for Python, which is just not tutorials for learning syntax and this kind of stuff, just projects, Python projects. So the videos are going to be a heck of a lot longer, but it's going to be a project from beginning to end. And we're going to be utilizing everything that we're learning. Uh, so hang tight. Can't wait to see you later. Have a good day, guys.